Hello and welcome to MIDI TV. My name is Abby Martin and I'm one half of a local duo called Sound of the Sirens. We've been performing here in Devon for the best part of a decade, so I'm well aware of the incredible talent that this county holds and we're going to be sharing some of that talent with you today. Please remember to subscribe to all of our social channels where you can find MIDI TV. Are you ready? Let's do this. Music in Devon Initiative, or MIDI as it is fondly known, is a non-profit community interest company. It exists to provide opportunities for existing and emerging talent here in our county. Now MIDI TV is a new platform where we get to share that talent with you. This is episode one and today we have three incredible acts for you. We have Daytora Roots Collective, we have Coacho and we have Lucy Piper. And more importantly, at the end of today's show, they're going to be taking part in the MIDI TV Pac-Man Challenge. Now it's all to play for because the winner of that Pac-Man Challenge gets to end the show with another track. This is episode one. Think of it as MTV, when it was good. Let's see some of these acts. Yes, this next tune is called Our Only Chance. This tune is dedicated to the people of the world at this very moment whereby a lot of things doesn't accord with reason. A lot of things doesn't make sense. You know, so this tune is dedicated to the people, the ordinary people of the world. Because what I'm going to say or what you're going to listen is our only chance. Stick together, 
The common people. We have to come together, you know, man. This is the only way we're going to survive. Hello, Quacho. Hello, Avi. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us here at MIDI TV. Um, I think it's fair to say that you are a local musical activist and lyrical philosopher. I saw that written online about you and I thought you would like that. Isn't that brilliant? Um, I know that you released your song, Change, this year and it resonated with so many people coinciding with big things that have happened in the past year. Black Lives Matter, obviously COVID. Change is something that you're clearly passionate about. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, thank you, Abby, for having me. And uh, thank you, uh, Midi TV, you know, for having us here. Well, uh, you know, change in the true sense of it that will have an effect is the change that starts from within. Yeah. Every single human being. Because... You know, sometimes we talk of change and people think that change, uh, the government can bring the change. The government will never bring change because they always have their own agenda. Yeah. You know, the real change comes from the ordinary people, that revolution from within. Yeah. Because every single life has got goodness. Yeah. Every single life has got goodness. Every heart has got compassion. But the question is, is it activated or not? So this change that I talk of, in this song, it's not change, you go and fight, you go and dad and do all this foolishness, no. No. It's the change that every single human being to go, you know, you know, having that change of heart, that, yeah. you know, from the compassionate, because we have it as human beings. And music is such a, a powerful tool for change, Absolutely, isn't it? absolutely. Music to me is like a touch bearer in the society. Yeah. That's what it ought to be, because music is so powerful in a way that Music can bring hope, can bring courage, yeah. can inspire people to be persevere, can inspire people to endure. You know, to, mm. you know, because as you know, life, you know, has got ups and downs, and that's just the nature of life. There's yeah. there's no life that hasn't got difficulties. We all have difficulties in different ways, but at the same time, we have the tools within us to deal with these things. And that's, you know, the change that I'm talking of is the change of heart. So this year you've released an AA double single, Change and My Teacher, and that was released back in October. And I understand you have another kind of teaser track coming in the new year. Will that be followed by an album? Yes. Yes. 
It will, because I, when I started this production, I laid down all the, the tracks for the album. Okay. But I decided that when I finish a couple of them, I will release them while I continue to work on the album. Right. So uh, I have released two, My Teacher and Change. And I am looking forward to release the third song, uh, which will be the final one before I've, then I've, yeah. you know, until I finish the album. Brilliant. And this third song will be a song in French, and, ah. it's, and it's called Combien de Temps, which means how long. You know, so I'll, I'll, I'll be looking forward to release that in, you know, early next year. And I'm sure your fans will be ready for some material as well then. Um, I know that you worked with Dan Wiseman from Wiseman Productions for the video. He's yeah. a lovely guy, isn't he? Yeah, he and is. again, another... He's top at top. He's great. Yeah, man. And another Devon artist. Um, he's worked with other acts like um, Num and Lou Latham. Did you create the concept for that music video? I, I would say i part of it because... I, I'm, I'm a man whereby I don't think that I know everything. And <laughs> I don't think that everything that I know is the best. Yeah. I don't think that way. But I have my own mind too, you yeah. know. So um, these videos, I, I, I met D Dan. I said, look, let's talk about this thing, man. And I explained to him my own ideas, how yeah. I would like it to be what I would like it to portray, like change, like my teacher. It's a great video. Yeah, you know, and I, tell, I told him the things that I would like in the, in the video, you know, as regards to the song, what the song means, yeah. you know, not just doing some fancy thing, no, something that, you know, relates with the words yeah. of the song, the music, you know. Well, he's so, done an amazing job and so yeah. have you. So when I spoke to him and we had this chat and he said, look, you know something, I've got, I've got the idea got it and he went and put this put this thing he just he just drew the picture all in his mind you know and uh, he said okay let's go and film and then we filmed everything <laughs> and he put it together it's brilliant just it's, like that simple yeah that is just it's just a top 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 man well, it's one for our MIDI TV viewers uh, to, go and, to go and view because it's a fantastic video. So where else can we find your music? Where can we direct people to, to find Quacho Sound? Um, on iTunes. iTunes? Uh, Google Music, uh, Amazon Music and Spotify. Perfect. And for videos, you know, YouTube and Facebook. Excellent. So go and find Quacho's music on all of those different social media platforms there. Thank you again for joining us. But before you go, one final thing I need to ask you is, how are you at playing Pac-Man? How would I play Pac-Man? How, how are you at playing it? Do you, think, do you think you can win this? Life is about winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fighting talk. You know, yeah. Because I know that Lee Hall from um, Daytura Roots Collective, he's, he's itching to have a second track played, and that's what we're, we're going to win today with our Pac-Man competition. So, so get prepared for that one, OK? Yeah, man. <laughs> thank you for joining us today. You are very welcome, and Mwah. thank you for having me. <laughs> Respect. Good viewers of MIDI TV, we are the Dachira Roots Collective, the Purple Suited Clan. This tune is called Roots Man. <laughs> I'm 
we go hard. Fun time represent your show card. Since your time's is climbing to me, I won't make this how it's meant to be. See two roots and all in between. Let it lively, better look keen. Now stop the snails, they go sheen. Lively when I'm talking to green. Medical poison, ha ha, can I be? Failing to lose life, not like a beat. Keep my eye tells since 70, vital ingredients for your recipe. Into the deep, we never shallow. I don't need my mia, hello. Learn to leave that treasure by the wayside. We might think you're up in your fish to fry. Honest the crazy blues, man. Laying my roots down. With no apologies for what I am. I'm getting hazy by the sundown. Or when the moon's out. Ever changing with the shifting sand. I'm just a crazy blues, man. Laying my roots down. With no apologies for what I am. I'm getting hazy by the sundown. Don't you find the hands of Egypt? Don't you find your roots in your culture? from Datura Roots Collective, another fantastic live festival Devon-based band. Um, how are you doing today, Lee? I'm good, thank you. Well, thanks for joining us here on Mini TV. I know that you guys were set to perform at Exeter Street Arts Festival this year, and I'm sure a million other things that have been cancelled, along with many other musical things this year. It's notoriously been the year of cancelled. Uh, but what have you been up to? Where have you been? So yeah, you're right, we had a full uh, festival season all, all planned out where we were going to just travel the UK and just have a great time, which as soon as March came in, completely written off and I just kind of uh, accepted the situation. Um, yeah. It's really difficult to have been in a kind of limbo because it's hard to tell when as musicians we can come back and 
play for people again, which is what we're all about, is that connection that we have with the audience when we play for them. Um, so we've kind of just taken uh, time out for self-reflection. and Which is so important as well for a new direction of music, isn't it? For writing. Absolutely. Um, for, for me, I've actually reconnected with my primary instrument, so I'm a, I'm a guitar player, but we've sort of played in a reggae dub hybrid band, so you kind of often just, you're just playing an offbeat, offbeat rhythm, and um, I'm really fond of all this sort of dusty old blues stuff, like Delta Blues and all, <laughs> all the Chicago blues and stuff, so yeah, I've re in love with my instrument. Which you might not have had time to do if it were not for what we face in the past year. So I can see on your Facebook that it says you guys have been gigging relentlessly and you've been so busy over the last few years. So give us some highlights from 2020, even if it's not live music, things that are memorable from the past year. It's been a, it's been a complete blur, to be honest, the amount of gigs that, that we've done. Um, I don't really want to talk about 2020 too much because it's, okay. in, 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 in far as, as the band's been, it's been pretty abysmal. But for, in 2019, that was incredible and we played uh, beautiful days, we played the little wow. big top, and that was like a homecoming gig for us. We'd been playing festivals, and then we, and then we came, uh, and then we didn't know if anyone would actually turn up and watch our set or not. But it, the whole tent was packed, like you know, wall to wall, and it was yeah. just it was just this blissful experience from start to finish. And, and that was a personal highlight because I always wanted to play that festival. It's a brilliant festival, isn't it? It is. And we're so lucky that it's on our doorstep here in Devon because Beautiful Days is such an electric place to play. Absolutely. Um, you posted a brilliant live session on your Facebook page back in November and it was so well received. Uh, the comments from your fans were just incredible. So have you got more material that you're wanting to share with your fan base in, in the next year or the next few months? So absolutely, yeah. Um, as a band, we're sort of sat on about 12 to 14 tracks, incubating them like hens. And um, we, you want to get into the studio, uh, finish the album off. And um, we sort of start off drip feeding out a few singles. Um, Bit of Sweet Mary, the track that I think you're referring to there, yep. is, um, is going to be one of them. So I'm looking forward to you know, putting out a proper studio video version of that. Brilliant. So more things to come. And I know from talking to you before this interview that you have merch as well with the famous kind of octopus mascot on, which I know you said is available at live gigs. So here's to more live gigs and festivals in 2021. Um, something you wrote on your page back in June, I just absolutely loved. Music is a powerful communicator for bringing people together. And I just think that that is still so poignant and relevant today. Have you guys felt your online presence building over the past 12 months? It's actually what we've tried to do is sort of focus on what we do have control over. And, and, and so because we used to gig so, so much, it would be like three, four gigs a weekend yeah. sort of thing. Um, and we work in day jobs. It was really hard to find the time yeah. to actually maintain all that social media presence. So what I did was, yeah, re reflect and then I'd share stories from the band's history on, on the yeah. On, on the things page and to try and connect with people in the digital sphere. Well, and it does feel like building a sort of musical family, doesn't it, when you build a good fan base and that's, that's what you need. So going from playing festivals to tons of people to building that online presence is just phenomenal. Um, so where can we find you? Give us your, your Facebook and your Instagram and your social. So you can find us on facebook.com slash Datura Roots and exactly the same Instagram, at Datura Roots. Thanks for talking with us today, Lee. My pleasure. Hi, we're the Sam Kennedy Trio, and this is Come On, part three. People talking, but they just don't know. What's in my heart and why I love you so? I love you, baby, like a miner loves gold. Come on, baby, let the good times roll. People live and make believe They got too many toys up their sleeve My love, baby, ain't the kind of fools Come on, baby, let the good times roll To my soul, baby
Lucy Piper. Hello. It's so great to meet you and I've heard your name come up in music circles so many times over the past few years. Um, a female drummer always gets a huge thumbs up from me and you've definitely earned your reputation by performing with some incredible acts following in your dad's footsteps and you are filling those big boots incredibly well. So can you give us a few career highlights so far? Um, well, playing in Mississippi, that's wow. definitely been, yeah, a huge dream fulfilled for me. Um, albeit semi-illegally, not sure I should have been out there, <laughs> but I took that risk and it was worth it. Um, Excellent. <laughs> made, yeah, a bunch of musician friends out there and it's somewhere I regularly go back to now. Wow. Um, playing at a blues festival in Norway called No Todden, which is on a lake surrounded by mountains. That was oh, pretty epic. Idyllic. Um, got to meet Little Richard once. That wasn't because of my drumming, but just met him in wow. Tennessee, in his hometown. As you do. That was cool. <laughs> um, is that enough? That's, that, that's a good start, yeah. <laughs> um, and you've been working with a label, um, Roof Records. What did that give you? What opportunities did that open up for you? Um, got, well, that was, I got to do my first album with a record label. Um, I've recorded a lot before that, but just here in the UK and more locally, Devon, Cornwall and London. Um, so yeah, I got to fly to Germany for that, working with different musicians I wouldn't have met otherwise. Um, the main artist that I recorded with flew over from America and he actually was from Mississippi as well, so that was a really cool little connection. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just has connected me with people I wouldn't have otherwise met around here, yeah. I guess. Open different doors. Yeah. So you've also worked with loads of different local acts here in Devon, like the incredible Jess McAllister, another Devon female powerhouse, and you guys recently posted a set for the Exeter Virtual Christmas Market, which is definitely one to go and watch for our viewers. Um, you've also been doing lots of live streams and I've been keeping up to date with those on your page. How have you found joining the live stream nation? <laughs> Terrifying, yeah. <laughs> that first one, I haven't felt a rush of adrenaline going through my body like that for years. Yeah. The nerves was unreal. Um, but I did a one the following week and felt like I recovered from the first one, which I felt went awful, even though people were still giving me nice feedback. Um, yeah, I've done three in total. I'm going to start doing one a month in January. Just oh, you absolutely should. Yeah. Because you've got a really good following and it's, it's weirdly nerve wracking, isn't it? Performing on your own in your kitchen or wherever you are and there's no one around and that feels far more scary than yeah. performing to a crowd. Um, you don't know who's watching, which is no nice nerve wracking thing or no. how many people. Or reactions to follow. No. Well, please continue them because they've been amazing. Um, now, I know that you can also be hired to work remotely on other people's music. Um, so if there is anybody watching MIDI TV today that would require an incredible female drummer, then you could be contacted to perform at Valvetastic Studios in Exeter. Is this a new direction that you're going in? And how do people contact you for that? Um, so either on my website, Lucy Piper Drums, dot com um, there's information on there or they can go through valve tastic um, yeah or just on facebook the direction that you're going in for that so working on other people's music because i know you have a kajillion juggling balls of music up in the air and you're involved in so many different projects um, but then to offer your services to other music as well you clearly have a passion for it so is this something yeah. that you're you're trying to sort of push a bit more. Yeah, definitely. It could be um, either someone comes to me with an idea and says, can you please write for that? Or yeah. they may already have a preconceived idea in their head of what, what kind of sound they'd like. And I'm open to either, really. Oh, well, I'm excited that we finally got to meet today because I, am too. I might be contacting you via your website, Lucy. That would be cool. Um, so not only are you a drummer working with a plethora of different artists, but you currently have about five projects that we were talking about before the interview. But more recently, you're now managing and performing with the Sam Kennedy Trio. How is that, how, how is that working for you? Yeah, yeah, I'm really glad to be involved in this project because um, I felt I really needed a a new blues band to play with yeah. and you only know from 
that magical feeling that you get playing with others, whether there's a connection or not. Yeah. And for, yeah, with blues, it's just got to be on point for me. And when I got in a room with them, it was like, yes, this is going to work. So. Oh, that's so good to hear. So obviously we know that today all three acts that are featuring on episode one of MIDI TV are going to be playing our Pac-Man machine right here. The prize is that you get another, another one of your songs played live on our show. Um, yeah. We've had some fighting talk from Quacho and from Lee Hall from Daytona Roots. So just a heads up, Lucy, that, um, you know, as a female. I'll do my best. Thank that's you, Lucy. Can Thank you for joining us today Thank on Mini TV. Now, while you guys were busy watching the artists perform, we were busy watching them play Pac-Man. And it's all to win because the winner gets to play an extra track at the end of the show. So let's see how Datura Roots Collective, Coacho and Lucy Piper got on playing our Mini TV Pac-Man. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling the pressure to be honest, Abby, yeah. I, mean, I want that tune. Press the A button, Quacho. To your right! Woo. We have faith in you. Coordination, okay. baby. Don't want to make you nervous, but I saw Lucy Piper playing and she was really good, okay? No. Okay, no. so you want to eat the little circles. No. This is all about getting these magic things that are going to eat them, I think. That's my game plan. Let's make sure lives. Yes, Abby! Abby, Abby. Oh. I haven't got any more of those things left though, have I? That's me done, isn't it? What are we on, what are we on? We okay. are on 6,730. If you can beat the highest score... Oh. You did well! No, I didn't do well. Don't be angry! <laughs> yeah, <that's> it. <laughs> I think I know I've beat... Quite true, anyway. Well, I've never seen so much concentration on those faces, but let's see who the winner was of our episode one mini TV Pac Man. Thank you so much for joining us here for episode one of MIDI TV, and a huge thank you to our three acts that we had today Daytura Roots Collective. Coacho and Lucy Piper. Please remember to go onto their social channels, give them a thumbs up and share the love and share their incredible talent across our county. Now, it's that moment, it's about to happen. The winner of today's Mini TV Pac-Man Challenge. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Ending today's show, we have Daytura Roots Collective. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you again soon. Hi Midi TV, we are the Daytura Roots Collective and this is a little tune called Ari Land. Down to Ireland Land in the sea To the black peace in unity Better run to Ireland. Land Say, you're telling me you wanna be Ari Get down to Ireland Land in the sea Talking about peace in unity Better run to Ireland. Land I get Harry Up the vibe then Let's get mashed up This is our time then This is our time to shine We arrive on the scene Looking real vibey Looking real clean and my suspect is shy effects and my pop with love effects and my not respect to no Pay no respect to the cult To the culture well, If you don't know, you don't know If you don't know, then Join us on this wave, on this flow I might seem with a toe, eh? I might tic-tac-toe When we red, so I'm ready, one flow, eh? One for one flow Ivory Land is our place to oh, go I, I wanna take you to Ivory Land Let's take you 
Capture the blame of the painful just shards out to a game not hard to attain Hey, what's in the name anyway? If you give it more time, we give it more life You're the one that will but the wind's on tight And we run in sound waves, triangle and the pay Hey, KZ squares, I'm on old Tinland, still with the best Hey, we just don't care, we're flying up high, then we just don't care Nah, the Ivory Land is our place to vibe, it's our place to flow and ride Up in the clouds and the tides, let's go Oh, I, I wanna take you to Ivory Land Let's it take 